What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Nothing But Skills, and today is another episode of The Truth About Division 2. So today's video is going to be talking about blueprints, so the truth about blueprints in the Division 2, and everything you really need to know, because I still get a lot of questions in my videos about the blueprints in Division 2. So we're going to head to the crafting station, and let's take a look at all the blueprints we have. So I currently have 190 of 223, so there's 223 possible blueprints in the game. Now that includes weapon blueprints, that includes gear blueprints, and that also includes mods and weapon attachment blueprints. So there's a lot of blueprints you guys can get in the game. So you can see the one that's the most important that most of you guys are always looking for are those mods and those weapon attachments. And I'm at 90 of 93. If we click on that one, you can see I have optics 11 of 12. I have every single magazine mod 32 of 32. And in the muzzles, I am missing two. So that is where I'm missing the two mods and weapon attachments for this section. Now I have all the gear mods and I have all the skill mods. So if you guys have any questions on how to get any weapon attachment after watching this video, use the comment section down below. So now that we know all the blueprints we can get in the game, how can you get each blueprints? And this is going to be the updated version of how to do that. So the first place that you guys should head to to start your blueprint adventures of hunting is right here at this vendor right next to her. She used to not sell crafting blueprints, but now she does. I currently have none available for purchase, but once a week she does update this. So once you buy all the current blueprints in her stock, you have to wait once a week and sometimes she brings them in there. So that should be the first place you guys want to go when purchasing blueprints. Now how do you get blueprints in the game? So the first place you guys will most likely get your initial blueprints is through side missions. I currently have none on here, but if you're looking at the map that I'm showing you now, this is one side mission that you guys can get a blueprint. Now there are hidden missions that are side missions, and then there's just side missions that pop up throughout the map. This usually is completed before you guys hit level 30, because by the time you hit level 30 and go to world tier one, you're probably done with all the open world side missions, unless they're the hidden side missions, which are hidden throughout the map. So now that we know those side missions can give you blueprints where else can you guys get these blueprints because i know a lot of you guys want those certain mods those certain weapon attachments now if we go to these control points so control points now control points are green that mean they're already taken over or we have the red ones and that's where you guys want to go and if you do once you get to world tier 4 and world tier 5 you'll be able to level these up to control point 3 and 4 now 3 and 4 give you the same exact blueprints but there's a cap on how many you can get so if you look really close it says 0 1 right but there's like red attachments and it has a plus one so if I were to complete this propaganda broadcast right here it would push this control point to 0 2 so that's level 2 and then any of these right here so this one gives me a plus one this question mark is another unknown activity. So if I would do either one of these, it would give me a 03. So that means level three control point. Now at level three control point, that's when you can get blueprints. Now the blueprints you get from level three and level four are exactly the same. Unless they updated this recently, 100% they are the same. But once you do enough control points, you would no longer get any more blueprints. So then you're like, well, where else can I get blueprints if I can't get them from here? Now that we know we can get them from control points, side missions you still probably have a bunch of blueprints you need to get right because we're looking i'm even at 190 of 223 so since i completed all that how else so if you can't buy them the next place you guys want to go to is your projects so projects will be the final place for you guys to get blueprints now there are these daily shade projects and these have a chance of giving you a blueprint now i've gotten some of my best blueprints from this now i've gotten the extended 762 mag and let me show you that real quick that's probably the one, number one magazine that you guys are looking for so let's go over here real quick so i've gotten the sturdy extended mag from the daily shade project this is the plus 20 rounds negative 10 reload speed i got the 762 extended mag from the daily the large pouch plus 35 rounds i've gotten from the daily and then there's another one that i just recently got from the daily and it was stiff integrated spring which gives you plus five percent weapon damage from the daily so that's where i've gotten some of the best extended mags in the game and then of course it's five percent weapon damage which fits on your sniper rifles so a lot of you guys have always wondered where can you get those exactly from your dailies but besides your dailies you also have what they're called weeklies so they're the weekly projects that come from the theater 
and they also come from the campus and if you look right here where it says the campus this one's I need to donate some gear I need to donate some replica SMGs I need to resupply friendly control points in the West End complete activities in the West End and then complete activities in downtown West and that will also give me a crafting blueprint also I have the one from the theater so this one's just donate a specific type of weapon talent then we also have you gotta neutralize name hyenas name true sons name outcasts and then complete missions on at least hard difficulty and this also gives you a blueprint now I'm kind of backed up because I haven't been able to get that weapon talent frenzy so I need one more to finish this one and then I have another weekly behind this you see the little plus sign that means I have a weekly waiting behind there and the same with the campus so that means I technically have four blueprints waiting just right here but this is the only way you guys can get blueprints in the division two so that means weekly and daily from these projects alone you can have nine and then of course she's going to be selling you one so you can get up to 10 new blueprints weekly and that doesn't include if you're still doing these level three control points if you're still doing the side missions if you're still doing those hidden side missions now once you complete all that you should have a lot of the blueprints done now also you can now get blueprints for the gear sets in the raid so that is the final way for you get to get any kind of blueprints and those blueprints are the aces of eights and then of course the tip of spear so those two drop only in the raid and those are the only blueprints so randomly weekly if you do once a week you have a chance of getting new blueprints they're going to be blueprints for each different gear set so if you want to have the gloves you're looking for those you might have those also you can find the old ones and that's the negotiators so depending on how often you do those those also drop but in the raid you'll more likely get these right here you'll get the tip of the spear and the aces of eights and once you get that then you can craft it so that is something you guys can start looking for. They just recently added those. So if you've been doing the raid a lot, you might have more than certain people. And there are four different gear sets you can um, you can get the blueprints for. So if you guys have any question on how to get blueprints after this, any question at all, how to get the mods, I think one of the most asked questions is, okay, so the, C the C79 scope, the 3.4 scope, the 5% damage elites, that's from a hidden side mission. I have that on my channel already. This other one is another one that a lot of you guys ask. This 8% damage to elite scope. This actually comes from the daily or the weekly now. And what's another one a lot of you guys were asking for? Oh, the muzzle. And I'm pretty sure this muzzle comes from the daily or the weekly. It might be a side mission. It's been a while since I got this one. And this is for the 556. There's one for the 762. There's actually one for all of them. So I'm pretty sure this either comes from control points or if it doesn't come from the control points, it's definitely weekly or daily. If somebody remembers how you got these 5% damage elites, it's been a while. I don't think these were side missions. Um, I'm pretty sure this was from the control points or from the daily or weeklies. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you guys get those really good weapon mods that you're looking for remember if you're looking for the large pouch the 35 rounds daily weekly if you're looking for the sturdy extended mag for the 556762 daily weekly and then if you're looking for the stiff integrated spring daily weekly the five percent weapon damage on your sniper rifles i hope this cleared it up i hope you guys now go into the division two with a little bit clearer mindset I've been getting a lot of really good feedbacks on this series. We've already did one for weapon damage. We did one for specific weapon types. We just hit crafting blueprint vendors right now. And I'm just, if you guys have any other ideas where you want me to keep doing the truth of Division 2, I'll keep pumping them out. I feel like it clarifies a lot, especially for newer players, even vets who are a little confused on how to get certain things in the game, how to farm certain things. It just helps you guys out and I enjoy this series. And it's been getting a lot of really good feedback. So that's all I can do to help you guys out. If you guys have any questions at all, let me know in the comment section. I appreciate all the support. The road to 100,000 subscribers. We're almost there. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. And until the next video, guys, nothing but skills out.